obviously disappointment. Uh, you know, congratulations to Notre Dame. Uh, they move on to the uh, Frozen Four. Uh, proud of the way our team played. Disappointing that we couldn't uh, pull it out. Obviously, uh, the, the second goal that they scored at the end of the period was uh, a tough one. But we had our chances early, we didn't score them, and couldn't get that goal to tie it up uh, late in the game. So, If you wish to uh, ask a question, please raise your hand. We'll find you with a wireless microphone. All we ask is that you announce your name and your affiliation. So any questions first for Mike Sisla? Hey Mike, uh, Brian O'Connor, U.S. fan of Boston. I know this is a tough time, but uh, Johnson, I thought, played a great game. Not, you guys were getting pucks to the net, but he wasn't giving up any rebounds. Can you talk about his play in the Notre Dame's defense? They were great all weekend. And, um, you know, they their whole team made it tough to get it on net. And, and when we did, he, he did a great job of putting it in the corner or, or sucking it up and not giving up rebounds. So he, he made it real tough for us. Anybody else for Mike? Mike, thank you. John Doyle, Foster's Daily Democrat. Can you talk about the uh, look you had in the second period? It looked like the goal was wide open. I don't know if you missed it or there was a save. Um, if you the, recall that. That was a save. He, he got a piece of that. But, um, yeah, looking back, I maybe could have caught it and tried going around him. But it was a bang-bang play like that. It's kind of... You know, it's easier said than done, I guess. But you know, there's a couple, couple of chances I wish I could take back. In the first on the power play, I had an open net and put it high. And then in the third, the last, the last power play there, missed the net. But I wish I could take back, but I can't. Any other questions for Mike? I'm Mike Dan Hickley in the New England Hockey Journal. Um, you guys still pressed and pressed hard, and, and you got the got the guys to within a goal. Take us through that goal, as, as you recall it. Well, it was a, we just got it deep, and, and Matt Campanelli did a great job of getting the puck and, and kind of putting it out front. That's what we needed. We needed pucks out in front of the net there, and, and I was able to, to stop with my skate and put it in with a quick shot. And, and uh, you know, at that point, we needed that goal. and. And we kind of we had got another jump in our step, and and, uh, and then getting that that penalty on us at the end really killed us. But yeah, that was huge for us, and you know, it was big at that point. But that penalty really hurt us. Jim Crowley from U.S. College Hockey right. Online. Can you talk a little bit about what Notre Dame did in the neutral zone? It didn't seem like you guys got the transition game that you love to play going. It seemed like they had that neutral neutral zone pretty bottled up. That did, they did a good job, especially in the third period. But we had our chances. Then at the first period, we came out and uh, had it going pretty well, and uh, had our chances. And uh, as you mentioned, Johnson uh, made some a couple of great saves on a couple of good looks we had, but he didn't give up any rebounds. Uh, but early on, I thought we had a great jump, and uh, you know, we were playing well. Second period, we had a couple of looks, and uh, obviously the, the the first goal they got was a screen. Uh, Matty didn't say. I think it was even deflected. To be honest with you, I'm, I'm not certain, but I believe it was deflected. Uh, the first goal that they got, and then the the, uh, the second one at the end of the game was, was tough. Anybody else for coach? Hey, coach, Chad Graff, Union Leader. Can you just talk a little bit about the play of Deidre Almo in that? Well, I think he's proven all year. Everybody asked about that <coughs> from uh, day one, and then they, then we got to the tournament. They were asking, uh, you know, is he going to be able to handle the NCA? Uh, you know, pressures and players. Well, he proved that uh, hands down. He's uh, he's been terrific all season, and he was terrific again tonight. I thought both goalies played well. Hi, uh, Coach. Uh, Joe Maloney, College Hockey News. Uh, three years in a row, you guys have been right there in regional final. You haven't been able to break through. Can you talk a little bit more about the disappointment? You don't have to tell me about it. Obviously, it's uh, it's, it's a lot of disappointments. Another uh, team that's uh, it's been a great group, a great senior class that uh, did an awful lot for our team and. I've been through it three times along with uh, myself and the staff, and you know I feel for them. They've done everything that they could possibly do to get to the Frozen Four. Um, 
some of the games that we played, especially uh, two years ago here against uh, BU, and we lost it at the very end on, on a, a penalty, and then again here tonight that uh, we didn't get it, get that goal to tie it up and hopefully uh, you know, pull the game out. So, yeah, it's been disappointing. We're thrilled to death. Uh for this group to accomplish what they have this year with so many young kids is uh, incredible. And a lot of that credit goes to the, the leaders of the team that uh, helped create a great bond amongst them. And, uh, you know, it's an exciting uh, opportunity for all of us. So we're very much looking forward to it. Okay, any questions for the student athletes? Hey, Bill, Rich Thompson from the Boston Herald. Can you just comment on staying with that play at the end of the second period? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we it started from a great four check. Um, you know, we executed pretty much perfectly, and uh, you know, I was the high guy. I was F three at the time, and uh, I saw Riley at the puck, and I, I saw an opportunity to go to the net, and uh, made a great pass, and uh, you know, I was able to put it in. Hey, uh, Mike, Ryan Derling, Civs of the Day. Uh, this is, UNH is a team that gets a lot of shots in that. Uh, you didn't seem like you were having a whole lot of trouble seeing very many of them tonight. Can you just talk about what the D in front of you did to, to help you out with that? Yeah, they did a great job. Forwards and D did a great job in front of me. They uh, they really uh, got sticks in passing lanes, deflected pucks, and uh, blocked them as well. And uh, you know, I have to credit them. They were they were unbelievable tonight with the back pressure and the uh, which allowed the D to stay up on the blue line and not let them uh, come into the zone as easily. So uh, all the credit goes to them. They put a heck of a game in front of me and. Uh, we couldn't have won without all uh, the hard work. Hey, uh, Stephen. Well, uh, last night, you maybe didn't have your greatest game of the season. Uh, you bounced back tonight, you know, played great, scored the goal, and getting into the all tournament team. You know, what did, what did you do to maybe like turn it around? And then how important is it to you know, play your best in what really matters? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> What happened last night, you know, that's where that's like what, what we put our foundation on as a team. You know, one guy falls, 27 guys have their have his back. So I mean, I, I just have to give my team all the credit in that one. And today, you know, I got all the inspiration from past coaches and coaches here, and my family and all my friends back home, just saying like, forget about yesterday, it's in the past, and you know, today's a new day, and your team needs you. So just go out there and do do what you can. Didn't play well Billy against uh, Miami in the CCHA playoffs. Can you kind of contrast? How maybe you felt after that uh, performance, and whether you ever saw this team advancing to the Frozen Four, and what's been the key to turning that around? Well, I, I think uh, you know losing two games at Julius Arena was an eye opener, and, and we recognized that we didn't want our season to end. And I think uh, you know this weekend was a great example of of how we've turned it around. Um, I think we played with a lot of speed, a lot of poise. Um, I think we were physical, and I think we did the things um, that we need to be successful. Dave Joffe from the Concord Monitor. For any of you guys, both of your goals kind of came after quality UNH chances. Can you just talk about kind of stepping up to the moment and, and making those turning points? Um, you know, we, we put Gulf Foundation kind of like uh, bend but don't break. You know, whenever we uh, have a scoring chance against, we, we try to go right back at them, and uh, that's what we did. And Riley Sheen came up the boards and when, our, when I scored my goal and just made a great pass and showed his patience, showed what a great player he is. We recognize there's a lot of little plays on the ice, and we can't get overexcited or, or down no matter what happens, and just stay even keeled. And uh, you know, I think the goals are a product of of not uh, not getting too low after some great chances by them. Uh, Jeff, Jim Conley from U.S. College Hockey Online. When you look at this game, you had to stop a, a pretty potent offense, and it seemed you really slowed them down, mostly in the neutral zone. Can you talk about what you did there and, and how you're able to slow you know a team that has that Thompson line and that Gumas line? Well, every off season, uh, our staff and I sit down and, and discuss different things that we can do differently. We changed our four check this year, became more aggressive. Uh, you know, we don't want to be known as a slow down team, but uh, you know, we, uh, we we try to take things from you know different teams and organizations. And we played a similar system in the past, but uh, after having watched Tampa Bay and, and Philadelphia play uh, a, a neutral zone system that you know is really designed for transitional purposes it may look slow but hopefully you get the puck and transition from it uh, that's the objective of it you know we don't play passive in any zone really we just try to play a little bit smarter through the neutral zone because that's where uh, most transition initiates from
coach Dave Hendrickson, U.S. College Hockey Online. This is a similar question to what I asked Billy. How did you get the confidence of the team back after the, the two losses in the semifinals and consolation game? You know, it's, it, it, as I've said all season, well, especially in the last half year, it's been a work in progress. So many young guys and knowing, you know, how they prepare themselves to play, how, you know, how they get ready. And, um, you know, I last week I thought we were, um, I didn't think we were, I thought we were focused. And then after watching us play, I thought maybe we were uh, nervous, and maybe nervous for the wrong reasons. Um, I had a good chat with uh, our university sports psychologist this week, and I have to credit him for uh, talking to me about some certain things that maybe we as a team have gone through because we're, we are young. And uh, those things that uh, he gave me, um, Mick Franco is his name. I'm going to credit him so uh, for some thoughts on how best to prepare our team uh, to get over that. And uh, I used some of the techniques that he discussed and just tried to get them refocused to, to play in a very tough environment with very tough opponents. And you know they grew this weekend, which is to me one of the greatest you know enjoyments of coaching is to watch kids come together. Um, this team has been together, but I'm talking about coming together on the ice, um, showing consistency for the first time over two games, uh, you know, in six periods that I've seen in a while.